Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is like attempt number three or four, and I'm just gonna hurry off before it it overheats, so <laughs> let's make a mad dash for it. Yeah, that's been interesting. Um I'm not gonna explore the whole floor, I just I just wanna get through it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Um actually as note in the first recording, he got the ability for C and uh, the skill for sleeping. Uh, the last few failed recordings include, and then of course in this run through, he actually got uh, magic something, which boosts his magic attacks. Um, I opted not to pick it. So, I mean, he still got sleeping every time, and he still has it. In fact, I think I've already assigned it. Let me check. Um, oops. Yeah, I've already signed it, but yeah, it was like I think it was magic lore that he didn't get, so more bubble wrap. One of my viewers said it looked like bubble wrap. I'm like, it totally does. What? When he runs over the, the needles, it's like he looks like he's popping bubble wrap. I don't see it. I do, so you stink. <laughs> Is that what that means? Yes. Well, you have no imagination. Oh, so I read this article this week, and uh, about imagination. Yes, actually, in a way. So this guy was talking about how he had been reading a research or reading about a research paper, and uh, in the research paper was some psychologist who was studying a guy who had suffered a head injury, and as a result, he could no longer visualize anything in like in his mind's eye. Like, oh no, that's awful. Yeah, he just like he was incapable of visualizing anything at all, and. Uh, the guy that was reading this article is like, wait, he lost the ability? Does that mean he had the ability? Apparently this guy never had the ability. <laughs> Apparently he's never been able to visualize like anything at all in his mind. So, like, if you say, like, picture a beach, he thought we were all speaking metaphorically this entire time. He never understood we meant literally picture a beach in your head. Oh, wow. And so he, he it was like, he's apparently a 30-something-year-old guy. And it was just like a massive point of realization for him, like just an epiphany, that it, it never had occurred to him that everybody else actually could do this. I and mean, he was weird because he couldn't. I say weird, but, you know, he was unusual in that he couldn't. Yeah. And so we started Facebook messaging around, and he's like, hey, if I ask you to picture a beach in your head, you know, what do you what do you see? And they're like, beach in my head. He's like, <laughs> what do you, do you see it? And they're like, yeah, I see an image of a beach in my head. I can hear the waves, you know, I can smell the, you know, the salt. And he was just like, I can't do any of that stuff. And so, yeah, it turns out that he can't do any of that. He can't imagine the way that we typically imagine. Like, to him, imagining is pick, like, a noun, a verb, and an adjective, put them together, and theorize about what would happen as a result. As a result. Yeah. That's imagining. That's awesome. And and so people were like, well, wait, you're a screenwriter. Like, how do you, how do you write screenplays if you can't imagine these things? Like, how do you... <laughs> How do you do any of it? And he's like, have you ever read my screenplays? Like, they're very matter-of-fact. Yeah. He's like, it's just, you know, straight up, it goes right through it all, there's no detail, there's no adjective, there's no description. And it's just like, how weird. How interesting. I mean, it's like, who knew there were people like that in the world? It's kind of like, I've always wondered about color. Like, do we all see green the same way? Yeah. How would you ever know? Because if you said it's green, and if somebody the whole life has been told that's green, they're not going to have any idea that your green looks totally different. I've always theorized that everyone sees different colors, and we all have the same color we like. Like, all humans like the same color, but my orange is different from your orange. So that's why I don't like orange. That was something I had to, I had to write a paper about in master, my master's, so... It's one of those interesting ideas. I was going to say, I think, I, I think we have a scientific basis for saying that that's probably not the case. But it, no, but it's still interesting. It is interesting, and that, that's what I was going to say. It's one of those things where it's like, we, we can kind of, like, you know, through the blending of colors and the results that come out of them, we can determine that at least the relationship between the colors appears to be the same for everybody who has, who, who does not have a color blindness or something of that nature going on. You know, some physiological... Yeah, but color blindness could just be, you know, it's not color blindness as much as, um... Hold on. I don't know where I was going with that. I remember, I actually, I remember talking about color blindness in the paper I wrote, mm -hmm. but it was, um, they just see it, uh, it's like, I don't know if he, 
trying to word it in a good way, and I can't. Well, think it's of a perception one. issue as opposed to a physiological issue. Is more what you're getting. Yes, at. I thank you. Yeah, so basically, you're saying there's not a physiological basis for for perceiving colors differently. It's actually a, like a brain issue. Like our brains are wired slightly differently, and that causes us to view them differently. Yeah. Um, like my, my dad is colorblind, for instance. Um, yeah. And so he's red green colorblind. And so it's it is interesting sometimes uh, dealing with that sort of stuff because like he can't see traffic lights the way that we perceive traffic lights. He knows them yeah. based on their location and like in the lights are based on their orientation to each other. Yeah, it, we had a I don't know if you remember back in college one of my roommate one of my friends' roommates was red green color blind and she was from up north and when she moved down to Texas she goes which one's red and which one's green because. Uh, up north, you know, the the lights are positioned differently than they are in the south. Really? Yeah. Up north, they're like, uh, I think, what is it, in Texas, and they're vertical? Well, it, it varies from location to location. I mean, you'll see both vertical yeah. and horizontal, depending on what... Yeah, but like, the, I think the south generally does more vertical, and the north generally does more uh, horizontal. But she's like, I'd have never seen these, and so we had to tell her. It was She didn't know which one was which for a while. Well, like, my, uh... Oh, I don't think anyone can go in there. Uh, yeah, let's. If we need to do stuff with the game, let's do that. But I was gonna say. No, I was just trying to think because the pudding can go in there, but none of the three I have can with me can. So my mom had this sweater at one point, and my dad was like, "Hey, what did you ever do with that that orange sweater?" And she goes, "What orange sweater?" And he goes, "You know, the, the one that looks like this that you always like you wore to this thing last year." And she's like, "It's green." <laughs> but apparently, it looked orange to him. It's indistinguishable from orange for him. Yeah, my brother-in-law is green. He can't see green. And um, when I first met him, I didn't know that. And I was like, why do you like green so much? And he goes, what do you mean? It's gray. And his whole wardrobe was green, and he thought it was gray. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's green. So, of course, when my sister married him, she's like, no more green. Well, he would never know, right? Yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Man, we're so close. We're so close to whatever it is that... Um, bleh. Come on. For my viewers! About time. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Graham gets the experience for it. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Cow's not in good shape here. Hopefully we're near the end. I couldn't remember exactly what floor I had we we failed on. I thought it was around five, so um let's see. You again? Dude, find something else to do. Stop following me around. I have like a fan club in this switch, sand. Switch mount if it's done to the last thirty minutes. Yeah, it's just the problem is accuracy. See? Well, yeah, I guess I did hit him, but... Gary is... Yeah, let's do this. Oh, come on! That was 63% chance! That's better. And stay down! And Kelp gets some healing in. Yeah. He gets healed when I run around, too. I know. But it is a good reminder Ooh, for 14. our viewers. Thunderlore! Uh, no, actually. I think Thunderlore's... Uh, do we have any water powers? Uh... I don't know. I, because I have a, an attack that, I don't know if it's beam or thunder... We'll switch out water lore. Ooh, I mastered tornado! And I got a ruby. That was a lot. Uh, no. I want to push this button. Let's see here. Short range! Ooh. It takes away a lot of guts. Let's do that. Um... That is accuracy rate of C. Um, sorry. 
let's see. Accuracy rate D. Um, I don't really know if it's worth worrying about this right now. I'll just keep it that way. Alright, let's go. We'll go this way. And actually, no. That's probably bad. Let's go this way. Because it's going to have to end up being a dead end, yeah. Dang! Deep ruins. Jailkeeper. It's a golem that's part Zan. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! No! No! I forgot who I was fighting. Ouch. He's real, dang it! I was gonna say, I was like, what does that mean? I'm hope oh yeah! Nice! Oh, I pulled that one out. That was pretty awesome. Good job, Kalb. We're almost to whatever floor. Eighth floor. Alright. Yeah, no, I'm not turning around. I'm just trying to, to make a run for the end here. Oh, this looks promising. Usually this usually contains, like, a room like this contains a boss, usually. We gotta be getting somewhere. Or just another hallway. Another ominous hallway. Ominous. Ominous. And another one! <laughs> we can do it. We can do anything! I bet that's the boss. Gotta be getting close to the boss. No, it's another jailkeeper. Ah, <laughs> oh. you jerk! This is how you hit somebody. Yeah, like that. That's how you hit him. You totally miss. Well, that's how. That's how he's supposed to do it, mind you. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again. With an eighty percent chance, might as well. See, that critical would've been nice to have first. Um. So here's my problem. Do I keep going or do I run in circles healing? Run in circles. Oh, we still have more halls, so I think we're good. You know what I can't believe we haven't found in a while is a tablet for like another gadget. Yeah. Uh, you again? Not again. Dude. <laughs> Like a fan club Come now. On, Switch them. Okay. <laughs> There's your critical. Yep, I'm just figuring don't risk Calb on this. Yeah. Okay, um, let me check out the room. It'll let me. Don't see anything. Looks ominous. It's kind of annoying how the cam the camera went like way up in the air. It's kind of awesome, I thought. Oh, Whoa. hello. What's going on here? So this is the living fossil. Oh. Icon, so you've come, along with Rio. His name is Garp. I love that. I know everything, you see. Why, you ask? Because I am a store of knowledge. Ooh, I wonder what we can buy some knowledge. I, I want to ask you a question. Hmm. You wish to ask what you are, no? I knew that. Why did I know that? <laughs> well, because I am a store of knowledge. Good for you, Garp. Then please tell me, what am I? What is this vision which I see? Before I tell you, 
I must test your power. Why? Because the truth is harsh. I must see if you have the strength to bear it. Ready yourself. Oh no, boss fight. Did not see this coming, of course. <laughs> Let's sleep. He'll never see it coming. Uh. Calv can do it. Oops, uh. I didn't mean to ear slap again. I was trying to switch. Come on, thank you. Oh, I couldn't tell if I hit him or not. Neither could I. This is like the most epic boss fight ever. Calv just stamps around. And the guy's like, <laughs> I'm waving my trunk around. <laughs> He's like, oh, your stamping is too impressive for me. I cannot look at it. Graham got wind lore, which is pointless. Yes, I'm going to abandon wind lore. Arm combo. That sounds pretty cool. Oh no, we killed him. We'll never know the answer. <laughs> Get up, Garp. Do you believe we have the strength now? <laughs> you mean Calb? <laughs> yes, I certainly do. Now then, Ryo, let's start with the vision. Yes. <laughs> A long time ago, human technology was more advanced. They used black arts to redesign monsters. The most powerful cyborg creatures were called the Dark Ones, led by their Dark Lord, Zevian. The Dark Ones led a great revolt against all life and all living things. Became servants of the Dark Ones. The vision you saw was of this Dark Age. I... I've never heard of such a thing. Now, your, our true identity, your, really, <laughs> one day in that dark age, Suzaku, Lord of the Phoenixes, and a lone girl led the monsters and humans into battle. Zevian was defeated, and the age of the Dark Ones was over. Huzzah! The girl who lost consciousness in the battle, was sealed inside a saucer stone with the hope that she might live once again in a later age. That girl is you, Ryo. What? How can that be? What about my father and... The truth has been told, whether you accept it or not. Well, not even my store of knowledge can answer that. It can't be. Let's end it at that and go home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Garp. Okay, it's good. <laughs> oh, for a second there, I was like, no! Cesare! Makruji told me you went to Promios. I didn't know he talked to Makruji. I had forgotten. But how can that be? I'm not your daughter? I can't believe it. No! Rio, listen to me. That fateful day long ago, I took the saucer stone that came out of the Promios to the, to the shrine. When I tried regenerating from it, out came a precious little baby girl. That little babe, resting in my arms, would cry softly. That night, I had a dream. The little girl fell in the great battle that brought light to our dark age. We want the girl to live as an ordinary child in a future age. We have sealed her into a saucer stone. Please grant us our wish. I don't know what exactly happened, but I wanted to protect that child, like a father. This is the truth. I also want to believe that I am your father. 
Rio, are you able to accept this? Father. Rio, with the help of Icon <laughs> and all the monsters, you've become so happy and strong. If you can't handle the truth by yourself, you should seek their help. Please, understand me. Thank you, Father. I'll be okay. I'm determined not to run from the truth. I am who I am, and there's that much... Sorry, and there is much that I have to do. I can't sit around worrying, right, Icon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rio! Let's do our best! Hit the microphone. <laughs> no muting yourself this time. Yeah, <laughs> I like checking. Oh, did I mute it? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video a little early because I'm afraid the PlayStation is overheating. So we'll see you guys next time when... I'm not entirely sure what we do next. Probably someone will come to the ranch and talk to us. I suspect so. we'll be awesome. Yes, we are always awesome. Let's not say <laughs> Bye always. For now. Bye, guys. <laughs>